Audio mixers have become a staple for live streaming and they're not exactly cheap. A Go XLR these days is around £300 and while it's a bit gimmicky and definitely, definitely not bottom of the barrel, I found it pretty difficult to find a good quality cheap mixer. But what if I told you that you might already own an audio mixer? and you just don't know it. As I was browsing the Elgato plugin store, I came across this plugin. The Wind Tools plugin by Barrader turns your Stream Deck regular or XL into its own audio mixer. It's incredibly easy as well. To get going, head into the Elgato store and go to the plugin section, scroll until you find the Wind Tools, or, you know, search for it, because <laughs> that works too. Once installed, find the profile that you use to stream or just an empty spot on the home page and drag the app audio mixer onto the slot. The app itself automatically detects what programs you've got open on your computer and brings them up in this horizontal list style. It creates the pages for you to scroll through and you don't have to do anything other than press the button. You scroll through by pressing the arrow buttons on the left hand side and Pressing the icon of the software mutes it completely. Hitting the button on the top, the plus button increases the volume, and hitting the button on the bottom, the minus, reduces the volume. I will note that occasionally the mute button doesn't work first time, but it's only a click or two, so it's not terrible. As long as you've got all of your PC sounds going into your streaming software, which is preferably OBS Studio, you'll be able to control all of those volumes right from your stream deck. The amazing thing about this is that you don't even need to be streaming for it to work. The app itself works and controls all the audio on your PC on its own. So if you happen to have a stream deck, you can use it to control your system audio. If you're gaming and you can't tab out, you can use it to mute a program that's making sound in the background. It's simple to set up, simple to use and easy to run with. I highly, highly recommend it if you're in need of some audio mixing. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like down below and why not check out another video here. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.